All right. Thank you so much for tuning back in to another reaction video. My name is Chris. My name is Sam. We are Offset Era. Okay, then. All righty. All righty, then. Oh, indubitably. <laughs> we should be done by now, but... We should be. <laughs> but this guy... Maximum the Hormone just came out with one. I just realized it before we've wrapped up today, and we might as well just do it real quick. Yeah, it's been about a year since uh, since we checked out Maximum the yeah. Hormone. Yeah. Which is crazy, because Maximum the Hormone's got to be it's still your favorite band, yeah, right? Pretty much my favorite band. I still listen to them a lot, and I still go back to their music a lot, especially yeah. when I'm like in a, a creative rut. Um, they really help me kind of expand my mind on stuff and remind me of the different vibes and feels and they were the first band that got us into or got especially him into the idea of taking our old style of music and you know that that, that was kind of like the musical push to to get us to go heavier yeah <clears throat> so anyway we got uh, the new song here called Murderous Intent versus Murderous Intent. Um, if And for anyone who doesn't know Maximum the Hormone, they are extremely guarded with their music. Like, it is very difficult to get a hold of. Uh, you have to buy their CDs uh, or their DVDs to even hear some of the new stuff. They're very guarded on what they allow on Spotify. Outside of Japan, they allow it on Spotify. But if you're in Japan, you, the only way they'll hear their music is to buy their CDs and their DVDs. Just a little rough, I think, uh, for, especially for a fan that's, you know, from outside outside of the of japan so it's really hard to get this stuff it can be pretty expensive to purchase uh so we're very happy when they release a video on youtube that yep. we can at least look at um the song's called what we said murder's intent versus murder's intent it says accomplice toda toma Akata. toma ukuta i'm not sure who this individual is so we just so we decided real, quick. Cool. <laughs> really quick uh what does it say here he is a japanese actor okay. known for his roles in Hana Zakari no Kimatachi i um, Honey and Clover. That was a lot easier to pronounce. Yes. Sensei, with the exclamation part. Yeah. Mao and Ouroboros. He also stars in feature films, notably Hana Mizuki, Ninjen Shikaku, and Brain Man. Okay. Known as a actor, singer, and dancer. I don't know how he got affiliated with the Maximum of the Hormone, uh, Maximum Hormone seems to also have a pretty big YouTube presence, but they do a lot of different content. It's not just their music. They have like silly contests and they interact with their fans a lot. And they, I, I don't understand Japanese and it's primarily all in Japanese. So it's difficult to keep up on what exactly they're doing, but they, they review products. They do all sorts of stuff. It's yeah. super wacky. Uh, so it's really hard to know when they put out a music video, but anyway, let's go ahead and we'll read a couple comments and then we'll just jump right in. Ikuta Thomas singing is so perfect, you can tell he's hungry. <laughs> okay. Um, All right. Yeah, like I've said before, translating Japanese to English is very weird because, yes. you know, we, we'll be able to, I mean, on the one hand, we can read it now, but on the other hand, there's a lot of times where the translation doesn't really make sense. Yes. Japanese is a, one thing I understand about Japanese is that it's a very contextual language. Right. So just because you can translate something doesn't mean, like I said, it doesn't mean it's going to make sense. Yeah. So All there's right. a lot that, there's a lot that's not going to make sense. And, yeah. you know, why, why, why spend a lot of time not making sense when it would make a lot more sense to just dive into the video? Let's do it. Let's dive in. And for anyone diving in with us for the very first time, welcome to the channel. Welcome indeed. Very excited to hear some new Maximum on the Hormone. All right. If you're not new to the channel, you know what time it is. You know what time it is. It's time for the glorious, the epic transition. <laughs> okay, reaction. Here we go. Here we go. Murderous intent versus, versus murderous, murderous intent. intent. I don't know what that. That's like a social commentary. I know there's something to that, but let's save that for later. Let's I can see. take a guess that it has to do with murder. Yes, and being intentful of murdering. <laughs> Here we go. Murder. Yo, I love yeah. this man. I really like pay attention to this man. He plays with his fingers and pick. So he goes back and forth. But dude. Dude, this guy's amazing. He was playing a uh, Les Paul. Creepy.
Straight up system of a down. I love how they flip through. They do the blast yeah. and the like the ah, oh, it's so cool. Oh, so cool. <laughs> What the hell? That must be the guy. The bass is so heavy. like tribally or something it's got like a didgeridoo or something in the back what is going on this is amazing (laughs) (laughs) oh it's him i didn't even notice that What the heck? What? I love her background vocals. They're so good. Oh, 
That's it. What's that? I don't know. I don't know what that is either. Finn? Oh, maybe that's finished. I gotcha. Okay. Special clip. See? Not included in the original version. So this is a totally different version. So if you want to go back to watch the version, you got to go buy the album. Yep. Uh. Oh, it's a little different. I know all these songs, most of these. I don't know this one. Oh, I love their stuff so much. I'm gonna have to go buy their stuff. All right. We are done. Let's flip over. Let's not watch it again, even though we could. Yeah. All right. Let's flip back over. Boom. Maximum the Hormone, I love you so much. Thank you so much for bestowing us another video. I love that. Um, I think I like the... Obviously, I like the parts that are not as traditional. Like, I feel yeah. like they were trying to balance their crazy wackiness with the, the main features, like, more of his sensibilities. So, there was a couple creepy parts where he came in with his own vocal, and I yeah. thought that really fit their style. But then they had this chorus part that was just very, like, not very interesting it was kind of like middle of the road rock or whatever contemporary rock which is fine it didn't last very long in the song and my favorite parts were the fast blasting drums the shifting beats the screaming the heavy bass parts uh the rapping the hip-hop there's so many other great things about this song uh i could have done without that whole part where they were just singing and strumming the chords and it was just kind of like mid-tempo i didn't mind uh the uh and neo i think or how you say her name Neo and the what is it, Thomas? Uh, their vocal part together was was fun, and they yeah. pulled guns on each other, which was, was that was so cool. which totally makes sense. Like what? <laughs> so I thought that was really fun. Uh, so yeah, Murderous intent. I would say ninety percent of the song I liked, but that's kind of how you are with Maximum. What are you Hormone. doing? Killing you before you kill me. <laughs> <laughs> But yes, uh, if they put out anything further, of course we're gonna check them out. We oh, got, yeah. we got to. It's one of my favorite bands ever, and I still continue to listen to them all the time. I have like forty of their songs on my playlist, uh, so that's not an exaggeration. I love their stuff so much. Uh, so we will continue uh, covering them as much as possible, uh, as long as it's stuff that I haven't seen. And of course, we will always be genuine about that. So that's why we don't do a lot of them because mm -hmm. I've heard everything that they've done. But in the meantime, we are Offset, Offset Era. Era. We are two thirds of offset era southwest florida's premier three-piece punk core act we have an extensive playlist of all of our original music as well as it being available on all digital streaming platforms with our freshest most recent release top shelf villains being at the forefront of those yes we're super excited for you guys to check out our new music and in fact we're, we're continuing to write more yep i just can't hold it back so you might be seeing an ep sooner than we planned but that's cool just in time for christmas maybe maybe we'll see oh we also have some shows coming up that's right friday july 12th we're going to be at the sound garden kava bar in fort myers with sataria saturday august 10th we're going to be at the herd opera house in arcadia with the dude six eyes and on the fence yeah we actually played the, the dude on our very very first show over 10 years ago well, so they're uh, still they still kicking it and we're still kicking it well they did <laughs> yes i can't i came around a little bit later than yeah. that that following saturday the 17th we're going to be at rackham spirits and times in cape coral with cruel curses yeah more to come on those shows more details as we fill out the rosters there but yep. that's what we have at the moment uh, make sure you follow us on Instagram and on Facebook and right here on YouTube. Yep. If you want to know more about the band, you can stay uh, plugged into those sources there. We also have a Patreon. If you want to contribute to us in some other financial way, you can do it there. Uh, just $5 a month, and we put our unobscured, anything that gets blocked, anything that needs to be edited in order to pass You the, get to see all the uncensored stuff. Yeah, so anything that gets blocked goes no, there. No no, blurs, no bleeps, no... Uh... Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you can also get prioritized suggestions by sending us a message through there as well. As long as you're a paid member, we will look at your suggestions uh, higher up in our queue. Uh, but that's it for this video. Thank you again for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Let us know what you want to see in the next one. And we'll see you then. We'll see you there. Peace out.